How's it going everyone? It looks like we've got a bit of a PlayStation Plus update with another title potentially being added here very shortly. New trailer for Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Look, I am down on the standpoint of this game coming out when it is, but every time I've seen this game, I've been quite impressed by what it's showcasing, and I'm excited for the game. It's just coming out at a horrible time, and we'll talk about that. And last year, we had the release of Quantum Error, and Team Kill Media, the development studio, has already announced a brand new game, and it will be coming to PS5 in 2024. We'll talk that at the end of this video. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot, and it is much appreciated. But first of all, as far as PlayStation Plus goes, it looks like PlayStation may have potentially leaked one of their upcoming Plus Premium titles in Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. As noted on Novice Gamer Guides, PlayStation has announced its lineup for the Plus Extra and Premium games for this month. The announcement was made through Twitter and other platforms. However, the PlayStation UK Twitter account briefly mentioned Alone in the Dark, A New Nightmare as a part of the classic lineup before swiftly deleting the tweet. Despite the tweet being deleted, the gaming community was quick to notice and several comments and discussions about it are still visible on online. On, on top of that, the PlayStation Access YouTube channel initially showed Alone in the Dark the New Nightmare in their video covering this month's game. However, that clip has since been removed as well and edited off. Alone in the Dark the New Nightmare is a classic Alone in the Dark game released on the PlayStation 1. Um, it's available on Steam for $6.99 and it's a game that saw a bit of a mixed reception of 66 on Metacritic. The original Survivor Terror franchise is reborn, incredibly detailed and realistic environments, dark atmosphere playing with obscurity and light. You Use your flashlight as a weapon against creatures from the dark, influenced by HP Lovecraft, a gripping script that goes beyond your imagination, over 20 characters in a chilling atmosphere, deep in cinematographical production and realism, and two totally different but equally terrifying adventures included as well. So we'll see if that ultimately gets added. Usually it is probably just some uh, final uh, touches and agreements need to be put in place, or maybe this will be a February title and they let the cat out of the bag a little bit too early as far as it being a January uh, title. I was pretty vocal about in our video yesterday. I think the January lineup is kind of terrible. Um, if you have excitement for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, more power to you. I played that game and didn't love it. Um, you know, as far as, like, the Borderlands style of gameplay, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, the rest of the catalog I didn't think was all too great. There's certainly some good games in it. Just Cause 3, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. Like, those are good games. They're games that also go very, very cheap. So, from a value perspective standpoint, I don't know how much people are going to be excited by that but you know you still got some decent titles resident evil 2 of course also added uh but that's a game i feel like everybody owns at this stage of, a ga of the game where there will certainly be some people that haven't played it but yeah i thought plus extra uh was pretty bad this month but the plus essential catalog update with plague tale requiem and whatnot nobody saves the world there was some really good stuff there so maybe we'll take the good with the bad but alone in the dark potentially next month uh, or sometime after that, maybe it'll even get quietly added this one. That has happened in the past where plus premium games were just quietly added, but we'll see how that rolls out. Next up, Don't Nod Studio as well as Focus Entertainment are bringing you a new big budget action RPG next month. Going under the radar, it is Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden and has gotten a brand new trailer, the Love, Death, and Sacrifice trailer. Guys, Go watch this trailer. Obviously, you're seeing it, uh, seeing some of it right now. This game looks really, really good. My issue with this game has been it's just coming out at the most awful time imaginable, being sandwiched by so many other big games and a lot of other RPGs. Mind you, a lot of JRPGs uh, are JRPGs in there. So if you're looking for a more Western style RPG, yeah, Banishers will probably offer you that, and a less anime centric RPG. Sure, Banishers will offer you that, but. Just so much competition for a new IP, but this does look to be Don't Nod's most ambitious game ever. Would that be saying a stretch? I mean, Vampire was cool. Life is Strange is one of the more iconic games of all time, but uh, as far as a AAA action RPG, this looks to be uh, one with a pretty big budget attached to it. And again, we got a brand new trailer, the Love, Death, and Sacrifice trailer. What would you do when death tears apart your love? New Eden 1695, Antea and Red are lovers and banishers, trained spirit hunters, protecting people from lingering Spectres. But when tragedy strikes and Antea herself becomes a ghost, the catastrophic turn of events leaves Red a torn between upholding their oath to protect their living from malevolent spirits and saving her from her condition. Banisher's Ghost of New Eden will be released on next-gen platforms on February 13th, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. 
Game is gonna be one that I could easily see be received well. I mean, don't not generally speaking, like, think what you want of the Life is Strange games and even Vampire. Like, Vampire wasn't a blow-away game, but I feel like their games have been relatively consistent and at least being good. Um, and I really enjoyed Vampire. I know I might be in a bit of a minority of that, of really enjoying the game. Most people thought it was an okay action RPG. Uh, but Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, if this game came out at a quieter time, and I get it, these days in gaming, it's gonna be difficult to find like that month for you where there's not a lot of other big games coming but february is just doesn't seem that great but it's also a case of i imagine a lot of these publishers want to get these big games out within the fiscal quarter that's why i feel like a lot of these games are coming out in february and march so they can get them out before the end of the fiscal quarter it is just going to be interesting to see how these games do and banishers is one that it is priced at 50 dollars on pc 60 on console initially i feel like we had seen a 70 dollars price point for this game but it looks like 60 dollars will be the the price point that they ultimately decide with it if you do pre-order you do get the wanderer set dlc and again this is the type of game i see a lot of people potentially adding to their wish list and then maybe six months down the line it's 60 70 percent off and a lot of people will pick it up and be like hey banishes ghost of you know this was one of the more underrated games of the early portion of the year i can easily see that happening but uh, we shall see. Again, the game is dropping February 13th, right before the release of this game. You've got Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Tekken 8, end of January, Persona 3, Grand Blue. After this, you've got, oh, before this, you also got Helldivers 2. After it, you've got Skull and Bones. You've got uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, of course. You've got uh, a lot of titles coming out. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is dropping as well. So good luck to Banishers Ghost of New Eden, and really good luck to every game coming out, because outside of like FF7, uh, there's going to be a lot of competition for your dollar. FF7, I just feel like we'll do fine regardless lastly i do want to make a quick mention that quantum error developer team kill media has announced a brand new title already sun and bone for playstation 5 it'll be dropping in 2024 and they do already have a teaser trailer up you'll be fighting various dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out a quantum error was not all too well received and it is a little bit surprising that they're turning around this quickly with another new game release however uh this has probably been in development for a little while um definitely get a bit of rock vibes from it but obviously with a game like this that is always going to be the case but that is going to do it for me again a load in the dark new nightmare could potentially be a playstation plus premium title here in the near future uh that could be a title to be on the lookout for plus has been you know kind of inconsistent the essential catalog update was phenomenal and i was hoping that they could parlay that uh, strong reception into the extra catalog update and I saw my comment section some of you guys thought the extra catalog update uh, that was revealed is pretty good I, I am not of that mindset it's kind of limited as far as how many games are in there and not a lot of big titles and again a lot of games that already go on sale for super super cheap it's fine to have a couple of those but uh, I just feel like there wasn't a lot of depth to it but that's just my opinion Banishers Ghost of New Eden gets a brand new trailer and a brand new uh, title from Team Kill Media, uh, Media already revealed a new first person shooter Sun and Bone their first title saw comparisons to Dead Space this one certainly going to be seeing comparisons to Turok but we'll see how it turns out it's going to be dropping in 2024 that's going to do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.